<clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some of the gun fencing. Right, so the gun fencing is strikes and, and doing uh, the same movements we would if this was an edged weapon, a flashlight, you know, brass knuckles, whatever. We can use the gun in the same way as we were discussing earlier. So <clears throat> in this, just as we did the clinch work before, if my gun goes empty or I have a malfunction and I don't have time to clear the jam because of the proximity of the threat, I don't necessarily need to ditch the gun and go into a, a new weapon system or just bare hands, I can use this as a, as a bludgeoning tool. So now, as we come in and he does one of the strikes from earlier, right, and let's say I go to here. So earlier we were doing our cut strike, so he goes to punch, I go boom, I'm coming through. Now I can do the same technique, I'll go lightly, I come here, boom, and I'm driving that mm -hmm. in, right? So that is very painful, mm -hmm. right? I use that uh, trigger guard, I can use the edge, or I can use the edge here. As, uh, as my striking tool. Let's say I come in and I come into this position. Now before when I was doing my my clinch work and I'm using the bones in my arm to create pain, now I can drop this back and I can come in and I can use the gun for my clinch. Extremely painful. If I transition here to his face, if I come into my clinch, right, you can see here, right, <clears throat> as I use the sharp edges of the back of the gun, versus using the knuckles in my hands and the bones in my wrist, I can come in here and drive this into his face. As I go to do the clinch, I cinch in. If it's not deep enough or if I want to be nasty, what I can do is I can yank back and forth or drive and pump the gun, right? But now I can use this as my, uh, my leverage to create more pain to get deeper into that clinch. Then if there's more people, I can have him here. I can turn him and warn other people to get back. Maybe the slide's not locked back. We have the range flag in. Let's say the slide was forward. I could come here and use it. If he starts to bring his hands up toward the gun, I can cinch in tighter, drop your hands. Boom, it's going to make him drop his hands. It's going to get really nasty. If he does come up to try to grab the gun, and let's say he's overpowering the damage I'm doing to his face, from here, very simply, to avoid his hands, I can pump out, break space, and jam in really harsh. <laughs> Boom, and drive this in really sharply. Again, I can dig this in, wrench it, and I can throw him off, right? And then create space, fix my gun, and come back into a position where I can engage if he tries to come back into me. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start going the clinches that we did with the knives. We're gonna integrate the gun into our clinches and see how it feels as we lock into those positions uh, on the face, neck, the arms, and, and across the ribs and back. Mm -hmm. Cool?